So for this first DIY, you're going to need an aluminum container, nail polish, and a plain white mug. So then you're going to fill the container with warm water. And then you're going to pour whatever color nail polish you want into the water, making sure that it disperses a little bit. And then you're going to take a toothpick and start poking around and like swirling the color. You can do more than one color, but I chose to just do one color. And you're going to make some really cool marble designs in it. Then you're going to take your mug and then just dip it right in. And it's okay if the water gets in it and the design gets in it because that just makes it look cooler or you can decide later to clean it up a little bit. And so this is how it turned out and since it didn't reach some of the rest of the mug, I decided that I wanted to do it again. So you can do that or just leave it like it is right now. Now I am doing another mug with a different color nail polish. So for this project you have to work fairly quickly because you don't want your nail polish to set really fast on the water because then you won't be able to swirl it around and make a design that you like. So you have to be kind of quick but I really like this DIY because it's so so much fun and like you can make your mug like the way you want to make it and I think it's a great gift to give somebody because it could hold like pencils or makeup brushes or you could use it as a mug And the cleanup is super, super simple. You're just going to take a toothpick and just swirl around the excess that you have left. And it creates like this little ball and you can dump all the water out and you are done. So this next DIY also involves a mug. So I just picked up these candles from Walmart and this mug from Walmart that was very cheap. And now you're going to take a knife and chop off a good amount of it depending on what size candle you got and what size mug you got. So now I'm taking the excess from the candle that I just chopped off and I'm going to put it in a bowl and melt it down. And then I'm just going to pour it into the sides so that the candle is kind of like stuck in the mug and it won't fall out or anything kind of fill up the extra space So for this next DIY, you're going to need some sugar, olive oil, some essential oils, or you can use coconut oil instead of the olive oil. You're also going to need some food coloring, which is optional. So first, you're going to put in about one cup of sugar, depending on how much you want to make. Then I found out that half a cup of olive oil or coconut oil is way too much. So I suggest doing like a quarter cup of your oil or essential oil or whatever you want because it made the formula really really liquidy which you kind of don't want you want it to be a little bit more powdery than what mine was right now so then you're going to want to add some kind of scent because you want it to smell nice so i added a raspberry vanilla scent and since it was raspberry vanilla i decided to add a little bit of red food coloring to make it a nice pretty pink so i just added enough until i liked the color that it was and now you're going to take an empty mason jar open the lid and fill it up and I didn't make enough to fill the entire mason jar, but you can, or you can get a smaller mason jar, obviously. And then I just added a little red bow on top.
So this last DIY is very, very essential to me, especially because my hands get super, super cold and sometimes I just don't want to bring gloves with me everywhere I go, like to school, but maybe if I were outside, that would be fine. But I am going to show you how to make some DIY hand warmers. So you can always buy them at like a camping store or whatever. Um, but this one is really easy. So you're just going to take some fabric that you like and cut it into two squares. So I folded mine in half. Then you're going to take a hot glue gun and glue three sides of the square. And then once you have that done, you're going to turn it inside out so that you can't see the inside seam so that they're inside. And then you're going to fill up the open side with some rice and then hot glue the last side closed and then all you have to do to make it a hand warmer is put it into the microwave for a couple seconds maybe 20 or 30 seconds because you don't want it to get too hot and then you have your hand warmer and you can take it on the go to a football game or an outdoor event or just anywhere you want to make sure that your hands are always toasty warm so those are all the DIYs I have for you guys today. I hope you like them and I think you should definitely try them out. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and I will see you guys next time. Bye!